Whereas modern science formed on the basis of philosophy, in addition to fixation and classification of phenomena, is engaged in the establishment of causal links. A scientific explanation is in fact a statement like the following one, A because of B, B because of C, and etc. Just as the earth is supported by a turtle which in turn rests on a wave. The point is that the concept of explanation is not unambiguous. It is, for example, believed that the law of nature is the expression of an ideal explanation. But this is only an abstract description of an incomprehensible event which cannot answer the question on how it can be at all. A similar thought is to be found in Wittgenstein's Tractatus. Not how the world is, is the mystical, but that it is. So if we approach the question of the general nature of explanation in a philosophical way, it becomes clear that what is explained by explanation is not explained. A miracle can hence only be described, not neutralized. Traditionally, it is believed that a rational argument stands out for its evidence. But what does an evidence mean? What is the conclusiveness of a philosophical evidence? Is Aristotle right by stating that they require a reason for things which have no reason since the starting point of a demonstration is not a matter of demonstration. Evidence within Western rational tradition depends on the access to deduction, but the word deduction has its final constituents, the premises, that are considered valid insofar as they correlate with the law of, logics, or of logic. The evidence of deduction is thus based on repeatability. The evidence of the premises of deduction is an evidence by analogy. And what is an evidence by analogy if not a correct allegory? That is, with other words, repetition. So in the same way as 2 plus 2 is 4 because of 2 plus, four, two, plus 2 repeats 4, all evidences are ultimately based on more or less overt demonstration of the law of identity, while the premises are seen as self-evident truth, truths that simply uh, need to be true to themselves in order to form the foundation of truth. Here we can repeat Florensky's remark, the following one, istina gestina, or with other words, truth is being, due to the fact that from is there is no matter how deeply it lies in nature, or in my being, or in the common root of both, there is no way to extract the necessary. So the question of why this is so, that is how the evidence of the evidence is evident, is only answered by its own echo. Because thus becomes a pure repetition of why. So following Pierce, we can repeat Clifford's quote. It is evident, is a phrase which only means we do not know how to prove. 